On this video, we're going to look at the not logic gate. You could also call it an inverter, a digital inverter. Uh, but be careful because there's power inverters that take a direct current supply and usually a lot of current and output an alternating current. But uh, this is a digital inverter. So what that means is when we have an input. So we're going to assign number one here as being on and zero for being off. That's what fits best for uh, these two components. They're either on or off basically if it's a switch circuit. And uh, we could also declare 1 as 5 volts in other circuits and 0 as 0 volts in other circuits. Really it depends on the circuitry what you assign those numbers. But the uh, main thing is the uh, switch will normally be off. So 0. And as you can see here we have a pretty easy current path through the current limiting resistor and the LED right there. We might want to go slightly higher with that resistor but I think it will be fine. So with the LED it's definitely fine right there. So in any case off switch on LED. If we close the switch though then we'll make a direct connection right there between those two points. So closing the switch one. Now you can see the current that gets through the resistor will just get sucked right to ground because it's harder to get to ground through the LED. And so that's really about it for the uh, demonstration purpose of this. You usually use uh, either a transistor or digital circuitry to do this. But uh, this demonstration circuit hopefully makes it easier to understand the uh, principles involved. So there you can see the uh, switch is off. We can remove the switch altogether right there and uh, the LED will just stay on. Nothing changes. We put the switch back and when I close it you can see we get a direct connection from the current limiting resistor to ground and the LED turns off. Now also make sure you put the LED in the right direction. So the switch popped out because this is a, a good breadboard and the uh, leads, the uh, pins here of the uh, switch are bigger than leads of components and so it pushes them out more and since it's a good board they don't just bend out of shape they uh, will bounce back and then uh, pop out the switch from time to time. But in any case so you can see that uh, when the LED is on we actually have less current than when the LED is off because now we have a direct connection to ground and so a little more current flow. So this isn't the efficient or usually the practical way to uh, make a knot gate but it is an option and hopefully it helps you understand future circuits more because a lot of uh, circuits you have circuitry taking away power from other circuitry when you turn one part of the circuit on it turns off another and whatnot so in any case hope you enjoy the video make sure you check out one of the other ones I posted in the screen click like subscribe the bell all that donate to patreon if you can that helps out the most I have links down in the description but watching videos helps out a ton I appreciate that I'll see you in the next video